what's the deal y'all it's your girl tamika and i just wanted to come and kick it with y'all and just talk to y'all a minute so i was getting dressed for work this morning and you know me i had to turn to the steve harvey morning show you know tamar is finally going to break her silence about what happened and what transpired with her leaving the real okay so i was all set to go let me talk to y'all first of all let me preface this i like tamar do i think sometimes she gets a bad rep absolutely because at the end of the day throughout all her little dramatics and all the over the topness you can see that at the core is a very smart lovable vulnerable woman you can honestly see that however and i do mean however tamar does need to learn how to chill a little bit i would never want her to change who she is but just kind of tone it down a little bit and because she can be a little much now that does not mean that i don't think her being fired from the real was right because i don't believe that i don't believe it was right i do believe that the show is going to suffer because she brought some energy um some life to the set and i honestly believe that they all got along and this was not just something where they were just coming to work every day you could tell that this whole situation that broke up a bond but again however however tamar 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 come here come here just me and you just gonna talk okay look listen to me because i like you you cannot you cannot sit up there and cry and talk about, I don't know what I did. And then, as soon as you get back on Instagram, you throw in shade. Okay, let me backtrack. First of all, everybody know, when all this came out about Tamar, she posted this long, drawn-out, dramatic exit about her leaving social media because she had been stabbed in the back, not by her man or her sisters. And, you know, everybody ain't your friend. Remember that and remember who you are and all that stuff, okay? Now, was not really too happy about that, and let me tell you why. I felt bad for her, and... I really felt bad because you could tell that, again, she really liked going to work. She really liked the ladies. And, you know, I just felt bad. I, you feel bad for anybody who's going to lose their job, especially a job that they enjoy. So, suffice it to say, I was not necessarily here for the Instagram post because I'm like, you don't know that you're just going to start a firestorm. So, you start this firestorm and then you just leave. You go for a whole week, not saying nothing. And these Tay Martians, like if y'all go on Instagram, Twitter, any social media that's, that the real has, everybody is lighting them up about this whole Tamar thing. They were lighting up the co-hosts and everything that poor Lonnie had to defend herself. And now, again, I was not here for, but I didn't make no videos bashing her or anything because I feel like, okay, she and her feelings or whatnot and then to again like she didn't name no names and, and she can't control how some people react because at first they thought it was um deshaun and april you know her friends if y'all watch tamar vince y'all know who deshaun and april are and he had to come defend himself like no nah, it ain't us so i'm like well y'all y'all can't really blame you know the tamarshans for just going off because initially they went off on him before B. Scott made the post about her getting fired. So nobody really thought it was the co-host, so you can't really blame her. Talking about she started all this mess. If she would have made the Instagram post, things would have went a lot smoother. So I didn't really blast her because I'm like, hmm, it's all into interpretation. 
So I let that slide, and plus she was in her feelings, been there, done that, got the t-shirt. You know, it's not easy when you get in, let go from a job. Okay, and like again, I said, like her, felt bad for her. But, again, however, a couple days ago, when she came back to social media, she first was like, I'm back. And I was like, oh, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. But an hour later, she's on somebody's post, and somebody had wrote a meme about, you know, when you in a room with uh, petty bitches or something like that, it's best to distance yourself. And she going to comment with some, uh, em with some fingernail polish emojis and was like, well, and I'm like, you didn't have to comment, Tamar. Now you throwing shade at your co-host. And it's like, to me, it doesn't seem like they had nothing to do with this. And it just seems like, to me, you are all in your feelings and you just want to be like, screw everybody. And this is not the way you do that. That's not how you handle yourself as a grown-ass woman, okay? I just did not, I was not featuring that at all. And then, so the next day, after, you know, it gets on the blogs and she kind of shaded her co-host when she, that's the first thing she did when she got back on social media, she post this very beautiful picture and talk about, you know, positive, no hard feelings towards about anything or anyone. Um, you know, uh, just love yourself, love God, all, all this positive stuff. And I'm like, so yeah, you can't sit there and just throw shade and just be all positive, the, you know, the next minute or whatever. And she's like, oh, you know, I'm doing great. And tune into the Steve Harvey Morning Show to see why I'm filled with so much joy. And I'm like, here we go. And all right, y'all, as y'all know, there's no rest for the, well, I ain't going to say the wicked because I'm not wicked. But, you know. Hey, when you at work, you at work. So anyway, back to Tamar. So I'm just like, you about to be on the Steve Harvey show. Of course, me, being the nosy person that I am, I was like, I want to watch this show. Of course. So I got up this morning. I didn't feel like getting out of my bed, y'all. So I just went online and listened to it, just streamed it or whatever. So. Basically, she was talking about how she didn't know what was going on and this and that. And she thought her and the girls got along. Actually, what she said was, so I thought. Me and the girls got along, so I thought. And I'm like, there you go again, just throwing shade on the low low. And, and you're trying to come off all innocent. And it's like, Tamar, 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 stop, stop, stop. Like, and I like, and the thing is, I like her enough to be like, don't do this. You are so talented. You're amazingly intelligent. I mean, you got the whole world at your fingertips. Like, she, I mean, no matter what you say about this woman, I mean, she, she does it. I mean, two reality, two top rated reality shows. She had a, you know, she was part of Dancing with the Stars, which is a main, uh, which is a major deal. Then she had her own show on Fox. And, I mean, say what you want, but Love and War was a multi-platinum album. Then, yeah, she didn't get a, a lot of opportunity to promote Call It All Lovers, but everybody who got the album said it was great. And it was, her song was still nominated for a Grammy, and that speaks a lot, considering that she couldn't promote like she wanted to. So, you cannot deny her, her relevancy and in the entertainment business or her talent you cannot deny that but she is going to hinder her own progress by doing this slick shit to me so anyway i'm i'm still enjoying the interview even though i i witnessed the shade you know she's just talking about how it happened and how she was upset and now you know things happen for a reason it turned out to be a blessing and then here we go we get the announcement towards the end where she has signed a deal with Steve Harvey to 
produce her own show and all this other stuff. And I'm just like, I'm happy for you, Tamar. But again, I cannot walk away from this. It's proud. And as much as I was into this, reading the comments, read articles, I cannot sit here and act like I was not feeling like I kind of been had a little bit. Like, think about it, y'all. I had to run this all down because if you see it, it was a pattern. That's why I took it all the way back for y'all. So, think about it. She puts out the Instagram post. Everybody gets all up in arms because they want to know who betrayed her. Even though at that particular point, we didn't even know that she had got to let go. But still, everybody was ready to figure out who betrayed her. Then once they knew, they all on Instagram. Everybody's all over, you know, social media attacking the real, attacking the co-host. And she's just sitting there. Stirring up all this attention, all this media frenzy. Like, it's still going on. People are still talking about this whole thing. Like, Tamar's the first one to ever get fired from a job, from a talk show, anything like that. I mean, it's still going on. Okay. And then when she comes back, she throws a little shade. Of course, everybody and their mama talking about that. And then, she on Steve Hart, you know, she waits until... The day of Braxton Family Values, where we're going to talk about, when she's going to talk about being let go from the real, to go on Steve Harvey's show, to break her silence, and to announce her new business venture. Hmm. Calculating much? You know, calculating much? I'm not stupid. I was here for it, but I'm not stupid. This was all a part of the plan. And it's just like, okay. Not mad at it because business is business. Show business. Operative word, they're being business. But what I do not appreciate is that Tamar causes some things on herself. Like I said, as much as I love her, I've been paying close attention and I've been here. Like I said, I'm still definitely here and saying that the real will not be the same. And the real ruin a great bond, some great chemistry. It will never be the same the way this felt, the way this all played out. And that's on the and that's on the executive producer's part at the real what they did and on Tamar's part for you know throwing a rock to hide her hand. Like I've been paying attention. I'm still here for Tamar because I do believe it was a big mistake. But I'm not dumb either. I this was a very strategic plan. Again, she's very as long with being somebody that's kinda uh, the spoiled brat of the family who kind of used to get in her way and is kind of known for being a little extra and a little petty. She's also very smart. And she's, I mean, her sister is Tony Braxton. She grew up, she grew up in this business virtually. So she knows how to keep her name out there so that whatever she does next is going to be a hit because her name is still, like I said, being talked about. So, now that she announced this show, everybody's on the edge of their seat to see what this show going to be about. She signed up with Steve Harvey. That's a good look. That's all over the blogs now about this new business venture. But I'm just like, Tamar, you're not all that innocent, boo. You want to come off as, oh, you want to cry and want to be all humble one minute. But then low-key those shade in the next. And it's like, just sit back. You know, take a break like you did and come back and just show us who you are. Because who you are is a phenomenal person. Like, I, I fucks with you, Tamar, but I'm just not, I, I'm not stupid either. And congratulations on your business venture with Steve Harvey. I think it's going to be an amazing opportunity. I just don't want you to get in your own way with your attitude at times you know sometimes you act first and think later and I think that's your biggest problem and I'm just glad that you do have an opportunity to bounce back I just don't want you to fuck it up so anyway y'all tell me y'all thoughts on what you guys think of everything and I will holler at you guys later till next time y'all peace and love